Hello and welcome to Caravanning with the Misses. Thank you very much for tuning in. Thanks for joining. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for joining. Don't know what you've joined. And anyway, thanks for subscribing. If you have subscribed and if you haven't subscribed, we'd awfully appreciate it if you wouldn't mind subscribing because then you'd get a non-obtrusive notification every time we upload a thingy bob and you can carry on for anyway um yes hello good morning everybody um today's little vlogette is going to be about our trip to oh i've got no idea how you pronounce that hendrach menach something like that i'll probably be popping it in the text right now but anyway over in wales near barmouth there you go right next to barmouth um, over the west coast of Wales, about central west coast of Wales. Um, it took us about four hours to get here. Uh, it was about one traffic jam, I think, uh, for about half an hour on the M6. Um, so yeah, four hours, about 150 miles from home. Um, quite a straight road, actually. Really enjoyed it, to be honest. Really enjoyed the drive. Half of it was motorway traffic. The rest of it was climbing through the mountains, all the rest of that. There was actually one hill, which was a second gear hill. Uh, but we made it. Oh, we did it in our new wheels. It's a Honda, Honda HRV. I'm sure I'm probably going to do a vlog about it at some point. Um, but yeah, so as a result, very economical. Normal um, MPGs that we get around town is, believe it or not, 70 miles a gallon, which is pretty bloody good. So yeah, quite impressed with that. So interesting to see how, obviously, I thought it was probably going to halve with the caravan on the back. And yeah, it's still pretty good. It's about 37, 40-ish miles per gallon. Um, and this is, so this is probably one of the least um, environmentally friendly routes here, i.e. up and down hills, lots of... Uh, change of gear and all the rest of that anyway enough about all that so Sadie's here in the caravan unfortunately um, she her health's less than great um, she's got genetic she's gen genetically inherited her high blood pressure um, which is pretty bad at the moment she t tends to get quite stressed when we're just about going away but usually it levels out the next day um, but yeah so she's just monitoring her blood pressure at the moment um, but it's dropping now a bit, so um, hopefully she'll be okay and we can go for walks. Um, otherwise, she's going to have to just, I don't know, sit next to the sea somewhere. The sea's just down there. Looks like a nice little site, actually. I'll probably show you around in a bit. I've been chatting to our neighbours, which is nice. Eric's here as well. And, yeah, quite expensive, though. It's, ooh, it was about £40 a night um, over this weekend. It's bank holiday Monday, so you, you have to pay an extra bank holiday supplement, which is... Seems a bit ridiculous, about four pounds. Uh, to pay extra for the dog, extra for the awning, um, sun canopy that we've got up, as you can see, sun canopy. Um, so yeah, 40 pounds a night, bit pricey. And to be honest, looking around, you're sort of not too sure why it's 40. I mean, there's a train track literally on the other side of it, which isn't very used, isn't used very much, but there is a, so you hear the trains every now and then. Um, yeah, so I'm not too sure why it's so pricey quite yeah anyway but it's a lovely site um yeah it looks lovely so we hope to walk along the beach into barmouth shortly that'll be um, i think it's about just a mile or so walk uh, so that'll be nice okay so i think i've covered everything so just having a coffee while sitting in my seat waiting for sadie to have a shower eric's here as you can see and here's the rest of the um the little field I'm in. There's a couple of different fields to this. This seems to be one of the biggest spacious one. That's our caravan. This is, seems to be one of the biggest spaci spacious fields. It's quite crowded at the moment because it's bank holiday, but apparently there's pretty much nobody here during the week. So yeah, it's lovely. Lovely hills behind us. It's a nice morning as well. Apparently there's going to be a bit of rain this afternoon. So I bought my laptop to, um, so I've got stuff to do on that if we get rained in, but hopefully not, hopefully it won't be too bad. So we're just going for a quick walk, what day is it? It's Saturday the 30th of April. We got here yesterday and we're just going for a quick walk along the beach. This will be Barmouth Beach. And look who's here. Hello. <laughs> yes. How good is this then? It's beautiful, really nice. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, so literally um, about 20 minute walk uh, from the campsite um, and we're on the beach 
That's a little well, spin round. We were on the beach five well, minutes yeah, five, from the yeah, campsite. But it was, it's stony up where the campsite is. Um, but then further away you, you walk about 20 minutes up the thing and the stones go away and there's the sand. So yeah, beautiful. Eric's here. Yay, Eric. So yeah, quite lucky with the weather at the minute. Oh. So how are you feeling, love? I was just saying about your um, high blood pressure and stuff. Oh yeah, no, I feel all right. I've got a headache, but it's spiked really high, hasn't it, this morning? Yeah. For some reason, so just got to take it easy and be oh. good with my food and drink. That's <laughs> it. And do some gentle exercise. <laughs> I think probably get you one of those little Fitbit things. Well, ones or that uh, yeah similar, that measure the uh, blood pressure. Uh, blood pressure, yeah. That's it. So you can monitor it. Because I am. Um, monitoring it for the doctor at the moment again so yeah yeah oh this is beautiful so yeah very nice here we're gonna go into town i think in a minute ain't we eric yeah <laughs> he's loving it here he is isn't you? bonkers <laughs> having a bijou bevoir at tally don hotel in high street in barmouth do excuse me, my little hound seems to be trapped. When he's trapped, he sort of stands like a stationary dog, doesn't he? Yeah. Well, keeps him quiet anyway. Unfortunately, I forgot his breakfast, so it's back in the van, but I do have treats. So yes, uh, what's the time? Oh, half past 11. Oh no, how dare you drink so early? Um, but yes, tend to drink when we feel like it. So there you go. Quite a nice pint. Didn't have anything local though. First impressions of Barmouth. <laughs> what do you reckon, love? First impressions of Barmouth. Um, well, I think it's going to be nice. She thinks it's going to be nice. It shows promise. Well, no, we haven't really seen it. No, no. We've seen a little fun fair. Yeah. And um, there's a few uh, cafes and pubs and chippies. Chippies, cafes yeah, and pubs. We've only just stepped inside the town, just haven't we? Yes, yes. So yeah, we've only just seen a little bit of Barmouth. Seems all, all right, a little bit, a little bit quiet actually. Given well, no, it was quite in one area, but then yeah, there's um, some fairground thing open and all that. So yeah, this is lovely. Just sort of do a little bit of filming while the sun's out. Um, I'm having a pint of Banks's. So say no real local beers. But it's quite a nice pint. It's nice actually comparing this Banks's with the one I get from Aldi because I usually get bottle Banks's from Aldi. Very reasonably priced. Very nice it is too. So yes, enjoying that. Um, lovely bit of scenery here actually. As you can see, uh, where are we? Uh, 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 well, old houses. There you go, nice hills there. As usual, these are just beckoning me to walk up them. So Eric and I are going to have to go for a stride up one of these at some point. We've only got a few days here. We're going home on Tuesday, so it's Saturday now, so only got a few days here. We don't normally go holiday. We try and avoid bank holidays when we're caravanning because obviously they're busy, prefer it a bit quieter. However, we seem to be caravanning on this particular bank holiday, but that's fine because the weather's all right. Oh, and the other thing for those that are interested is the caravan site uh, has very good TV reception, terrestrial TV, which is great, um, which is brilliant. Uh, but the internet isn't so great. Um, our uh, MiFi router thing, which I've vlogged about in another vlog, if you're curious, want to see what it is, that um, gets 3G. Got about two or three bars at 3G, but that's not fast enough for the TV to get um, free viewing YouTube and stuff. Although this morning, Saturday morning, it was, it was quite, uh, yeah, it had enough speed on it, so it must've got a 4G signal this morning. But yesterday when we hooked up, it only had 3G, but that was better than our phones because both, neither of our phones could get anything at all yesterday. Um, so yeah, so at least we were, we were able to do, if we wanted to do, to do, you know, general surfing yesterday, um, plus we had terrestrial TV, so that was fine. So yeah, just I'll let you know for those that are interested. Um, the Hendra Minich K 
campsite that we're at, I forgot to say, is independent as well, so no clubs involved. Um, yeah, because what we te the way we tend to choose our campsites is we say we look at Google Maps and say, right, I want to go here, and then um, we ask Google Maps to give us the campsites in the area, and then a couple that look interesting, look at those, look at the reviews, and then book it. That's, what, that's how we choose our site. And if it happens to be a camping and caravanning one, which we're a member of, then we'll book that as well. Thank you. It's Saturday evening now. We're just about to have our tea. There's me boy just snoozing. It's the missus. <laughs> right, just making sure you're positioned so you can see what's going on. It's like you've got a bird's eye view. So, right, okay, so yes. Oh, we've got a night planned, haven't we? First of all, what, what are we eating? What are we eating, Chick? Um, leftover curry takeaway. Mm. From where? Oh, the chili tree yes. and that stuff. Our favourite local. Yeah. Because what we often do, especially before we come caravanning, we just order one extra curry and then it seems to last us, doesn't it? Quite a few, quite yeah. a few meals. So we have the leftovers when we're caravanning. Oh man, look at this. And what's this one we have? Oh yeah, it's a vegetable karai. And Sadie's pilau rice. Look at that, everybody. Biryani Ooh. rice. Biryani yeah. rice, no less. What I like about the curry chili palace, cur curry palace, chili, chili tree, <laughs> used to be called curry palace. Probably, don't know if you can see, but the veg in the curry is all it's obviously been cut sometime recently because it's all different shapes and sizes and it's big chunky veg look like peppers and stuff and potatoes and all the rest of that so what you mean is it's not frozen or from a tin because a lot of yeah. curries that we have oh, um yeah. they, you know like the carrots are perfectly square and the mm. you know the peppers you can tell it's all perfect have you got a spoon please spoon i have got a spoon so yeah, today, this evening, Thanks. we are going to, oh, look at that. I need to mention, actually, hang on, I'll just kick it into shape. Uh. It keeps sliding out, so we've got a little bit of improvement there. Don't know if you can, oh, I'll show you. So, as you might have, I'm going to do a vlog about it, but we've recarpeted, or I've carpeted the um, caravan using offcuts for, how much did it cost? <laughs> Uh, 14 pounds was it the, car um, the carpet was 14 the yeah. underlay was about 30, 30 wasn't it yeah so that's about 40 45 50-ish <coughs> <coughs> pounds uh, yeah. for new carpet and our friend sandy she had a great sandy penny <coughs> the richards hello sandy she had the fantastic idea of popping the, of putting an extra bit of carpet down in case i drop my spatula or any other cooking utensil because um, she's seen our vlog uh, an old vlog I think the missus is about to have a coffee in fact. <laughs> she's seen our vlog where I've been dropping this I've been doing some frying and dropping some dropping the spatula on the floor about 10 times she counted although I think uh, it was a, some of that was me putting the same clip of the video in twice but anyway, thank you very much, Sandy. Good idea. It's working well, just it moves a lot. So just need to um, find some way of securing it down onto the carpet so it doesn't keep moving. That's really good. Carpet's lovely. It's lush, absolutely lush. I love it. It's lovely and soft because we used nice underlay. So yeah, so we're going to have this tonight. <clears throat> Curry. And then we're going to Barmouth. Hang on, Logan. No, not. Oh. <laughs> I'm just picking out what to do. All right, then. Yeah, we don't really. You always end up with more. We don't want to have a little domestic about who's having more than who. Yeah. So, yeah, we're going down to Barmouth and we're going to go to, well, one or two pubs with Eric and that'll be great.
So we're over the other side of Barmouth today and we had a lovely little frolic on the beach and we found ourselves in Murdins. Mel, Mel, actually how do you pronounce it? Murdins. Mel. Mel. Two D's are sometimes pronounced as TH. Weird. Anyway, Murdins. Tap. Um, anyway, it's the first ever brewery in Barmouth. The actual brewery is just up the road a little bit and this is the um, pub or the brewery. We are drinking two halves of, what are we drinking love? Summer House Ale. Summer House Ale. Yeah. Summer House Ale. Yeah. Summer House Ale. And it's very, it's very nice. It's a little bit cidery actually, isn't it? A little bit fruity. Mm -hmm. It's horrible. That's Sadie's face when she's drinking it. Can't do it again. That's it. She wasn't keen. But uh, oh, yeah, I am, it's nice, it's different. Eric's here, just had his lunch. He's been um, patted by the locals. Actually. We'll be wanting to go home with you. So, yeah, yeah, it's really nice. The beach on this side of the town is lovely, actually. We love it here. Yeah. Definitely, this is the more um, um, scenic part of town. A nice beach, nice restaurants, nice pubs. Mm. Do you like this part of town, my little fruit? Yes, she says it's all right. Uh, we're we're look, going to be looking for something to eat. Oh, well done, yeah. Shit. Just spilt my beer. I think I'll be asking for a... Oh. So I've cleaned up my pint. He suggested give me a straw. I thought, hmm, I don't know, yeah. But no, I cleaned up the stuff, paper. Um, it is actually pronounced Merthin. Because they, like I said, the um, the lady said they pronounce the double D's as T H, which is Welsh for Merlin, and there's a little story about it on the wall, which is very interesting. But I can't remember. So I'm now having a pint of what am I having a pint of? My little fruit. Ah, my little fruit. The clue, the clue for me, fruits. And oh, here it's causing a bit of hassle. So here it is. Oh, this is interesting again. Mm. Mm, that's quite nice, bit, he bit heavy. Would you like a swig of Rooney? Mm, yeah, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Sadie likes that. Forbidden fruit. From Murden. Doesn't taste really. Sadie's not too keen on her wine. Anyway, great stuff. I think we'll look out for something to eat in a moment, won't we? Yeah. That's where we can have a nice vegan bit of nosh. So, we're at Murray's Cafe. What do you reckon, love? She likes it here. Excellent. What are you eating? Sadie's got the vegan ratatouille with a baked potato and a side salad. Very nice. And I've got the chilli. That's what I ordered, isn't it? Yeah. So I've got the chilli, which is all lovely. Vegan chilli. Eric's happy. He's had his lunch. He's just watching what's going on. Having a pint of beer. So, and Sadie's having a coffee. I'm a little bit more inebriated than I should be because in the last place, Sadie didn't like any of her drinks, so I ended up drinking them. Result. But she'll be driving home, obviously, because we bought the car because we thought it was going to be chucking it down. Um, it's just been pretty grey, not, not too much rain. So yeah, having a great time. Happy days. Murray's. If you want some decent vegan pucker. Very nice. Right, so it's the afternoon evening now, Sunday, <gasps> half past eight. Eric and I are off downtown for a night out, a night in the tiles, we're hey, um, steady on. Uh, we're just having a little walk along the uh, road between us and the sea. Um, just thought I'd show you this bit because the, the, well, the, the, the seas is quite, um, quite powerful and it's putting Eric off a bit, or on, he's funny, all very interesting. Aren't you mate? Look, he's just stood there watching the waves. Let's see if we can catch some as they come over. Seems to be a popular point. Whoa! So as a result, he usually likes walking on that side, but 
this evening we're walking on this side, poor little thing. He's a little bit, um, he doesn't know what to make of it all. I think he's a little bit frightened of it. Come on, Em, let's have a little bit of Eric Cam. Come on, let's get going. Come on, let's go to the pub. Let's go. Not particularly scenic along this bit. Oh, he's got a trot on. I think there's a big one. Oh, look at that. Here's a big one. Oh, my word. Oh, it's another big one. Look, look, look. Wow. Bonkers. Oh, you don't know what to make of it. Come on, boy. He's not seen waves like these because we live in Leicester. We don't get waves. In fact, we don't get the sea. Come on. Come on, him. Let's go to the pub. Come on. Let's get cracking. Good boy. He's off. So yeah, this evening's plan is to walk into town, go over the other side, because that seems to be the, the more quaint side, which is nice. And then uh, we saw a nice pub when we went there earlier today. So we'll check that out, or we'll have a look anyway, see what it looks like, might be a bit busy, I don't know. Have a quick look in there and uh, see where we end up. So yeah, happy days. As usual, a bit of a struggle to get out of the caravan, because it's all nice and cosy in there. You know, it's really, I suppose as you get older, it becomes more and more difficult, probably. Um, but you just got to think, well, this is our second last night there. So I think well, if I don't do it tonight, then I might not get another chance to do it because apparently Sadie keeps telling me it's going to be sunny tomorrow. So if it is, we might have a Barbie back at the van. Don't know. Who knows? Anyway, happy day. We've just been, before I left, by the way, we're just watching some of our fellow caravan YouTubers videos. Who is it? So be watching a bit of the Addies at the moment, yes. And they had, um, or tried, the vegan bacon thing. I don't think, uh, I forget his name now, but I don't think Mr. Addy liked it very much. Anyway, well done, Mrs. Addy, for trying it out. I forget your names from memory, shocking, shocking. Sometimes it is, anyway. Uh, so that was great. Oh, watch Caravan Vlogger as well, that was interesting. Sad to see about his car, though, being stolen from his front garden um, but it sounds like he's getting things sorted with the insurance company oh Eric wants to go down here, here I think he's had enough of the waves so yeah so they were all quite interesting let's say the um, since we got here we seem to be getting 4g now on the uh, on the MiFi back at the caravan it was just Friday night we just got a bit of 3g um, but it seems to have been nice since anyway I shall probably update you a little bit later on So we found at the last inn in um, Barmouth, which is literally the last inn, I suppose, if you walk from the caravan side to the other side. And yeah, lovely little place. Uh, Eric had a great little run around the beach and all the rest of that, which was lovely. He's having his lunch at the moment, or his supper. Um, yeah, really quirky. Just have a little quick zoom pan around. This is the last inn in Barmouth. Look at that. And if you're hearing dribbling water, I've got a little, a little pool there. I don't know if you can see it. Lovely. 
Let's all look. Yeah, that's be a little cave. I'm drinking a pint of Old Thumper. And it's lovely, not local at all. They don't seem to have any local, it's a chain. She said it's a Marston's pub. Don't seem to do any local beer in the various pubs, other than the, the one that's attached to the brewery that I was in earlier. Um, but yeah, lovely. Nice and, it's a bit crowded, so I'll probably just have the one here and then we'll crack on. Eric can't really sit down because the floor's a bit hard. Um, he's just taking it all in and he's a bit bemused by it all, isn't you, mate? Hey? Not too sure what to make of it. Hey? He's had his supper, most of it. Yeah. That is a deep sea diving helmet. Old one, I expect. I presume they don't use those anymore. I don't know, they might do. They go down to really deep depths. I was just enjoying listening to the um, trickling water. Yeah, it's a lovely place, actually. Nice little find, this. Staff aren't particularly friendly, but there you go. Can't have it all. Yep, is he going to lie down? He might do. It's like he was thinking about lying down. What's he got? What you got there then? There's a little... Oh, there's a soft cuddly toy down there. That's not yours. Oi, Eric. Good boy. Good boy. Hello, just come for a walk today. Sadie's having a book in bed day. So Eric and I are stretching our little peg legs and going for a walk through the, well, not through the mountains, sort of along the road mostly. Um, and actually I'll show you it. And if you can see the cars, that's the road. Yeah, there it is. So we've been walking along there. Barmouth, where the campsite is, is up there to the left. And hang on, Eric. Eric's going for a wander. And we're heading off down there. We're going to go to loads of campsites along here. We're not going to that one. We're going to go to that one because there's a pub there. And then we're going to pick up the beach and then walk along that on the way back. So by the time we get back, that'll be a nice, probably about eight miler, I think. So a nice little bimble. As you can see, it's a bit grey. Um, not too sure. The rain's a little bit on and off, slightly drizzly. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's why I've not really gone into the mountains because I didn't know if it was going to chuck it down or not. And I'm only sort of, I've only got a, a lightweight coat. There's me boy admiring the view. Um, stopped off at a lovely, so the place we're in, oh, I was hoping I'd, Egrin, 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 that's where we are, Egrin, probably don't pronounce Egrin. Apparently there's evidence of human life here that's uh, more than five and a half thousand years old. So yes, everybody, that's even older than me. Cheeky. Um, so yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely. It's lovely actually, nice and quiet. You can hear the rumble of the road in the background and some sheep making the noise that they do. And there's a nice stream down there as well. So yeah, very nice. Very nice, as you can see, typical uh, hilly Welsh scenery, which is rather lovely, or at least it would be if the weather was, was a little bit better. Eric's trying to get his food container out of my bag, but it's empty because he's had it for lunch. A pesky little critter. Oops. So, yeah. So we've probably got about another four miles back plus half an hour for a pit stop. So that'll be, what, about one and a half, yeah, about two hours. So it's now 10 past two, so it should be back by four, half, two and four and five, I guess. Time for D. Sadie's doing a bit of tidying up as well because um, we're going tomorrow 
And then when we get home on Tuesday, she's then going to work for two days. Wednesday, Thursday mornings. Then we've got a big stint because we're going to Sandy Gulls in Norfolk for four days. So that's the first campsite that we're going visiting for a second time. We're going there for four days. That'll be over next weekend. And then we're going to Cambridge for th three nights. That's four nights at Sandy Gulls. Three nights at Cambridge. And then we're going to pick up the D4. That's the type of caravan we got. D4. Um, group on Facebook. We're having a, a meetup thing in near near Worcester, Chelm, Chest, yeah, Worcester, Worcester Way. Seems to ring a bell. Near where we've been before, um, but this is this is obviously a different campsite. So that will be nice. That's about a 10, 10 day stint going to three different campsites, which will be lovely. Looking forward to that. Ah, oh, there's Eric taking in the views and the sights and the sounds. Bless him. So just had an aperitif in a fairly modern bar called 1957 in a um, caravan park which is very nice, quite expensive, but very nice. There's a pun of doom bar, again, nothing local. Ah, oh, bit of a shame. Anyway, I just thought I'd quickly report from here because we're on our way back now, should be about an hour back, back to the campsite. And then uh, we might have a barbie if Sadie's up for it. Um, but yeah, beaches here, beautiful, absolutely beautiful seaside. Do like it from the um, beach point of view. Look, I mean, look at that, just miles and miles and miles of uninterrupted sand and sea. All we need is the sun. Don't we, Eric? We could do with the sun. He's not on his lead now, so he's not too sure what to do. I think he's a bit dis disorientated when we take him off his lead, because we don't do it very often. Because if there's a cat around, or rabbit, of course, then no amount of treats will retrieve him but yeah look at this gorgeous so we're heading for campsite which is next to but this side of barmouth which will be about on that edge there so well it's about three miles away actually that looks a bit closer that second edge you might be able to see there's a second bit there only on there so it's, yeah it's about three three and a half miles Oh, Eric's seen a dog, hang on, which is on its lead. Eric, come here, come on. Here we are, it's our last day. Monday, the 2nd of May at yeah. 20 past seven. Having a barbie, as you might be able to see. <laughs> see, see. Actually, <laughs> you might not, not be. see, yes. as the case may but be. That's it, that's it. So it's all good, so there we go. So today, oh, what have you been up to today, my little fruit? Oh, lot? I've been chilling in the van. Bed and, bed and, cleaning. bed and book. Well, cleaning oh. and a bit of reading, not the bed, no. Oh, okay. Oh, that's uh, been nice. Have you enjoyed it? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah I like a bit of time out. Yeah, that's nice. Eric and I went on a longer walk than we'd yeah. anticipated. It ended up, I thought it was going to be a quick bimble, but uh, ended up being an eight miler. I um, think the poor little, poor little chap's knackered, but it was really good actually. In Sorry, am I interrupting you? So, had a really lovely walk back along the um, beach, which was lovely. Enjoyed that. So yeah, we had a great, great day out. That was really nice. Um, so we're going home tomorrow. How do you feel about that, my little yeah. fruit? Look. No, I'm ready to go home, to be honest. Only for two days, though. Yeah, and then we're off again, mm. aren't we? So have you enjoyed our little yeah, break here? Yeah, I have, yes. And what have you enjoyed? What's been the highlights and lowlights, do you think? Well, I like the beach because it's close to the the um, campsite and mm. the villages too. So yeah, Barmouth. it's quite nice. Barmouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice, I have, to, I have to say. Yeah. I don't really bead on any, but 
they're obviously lovely walks in the hills, I should imagine. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, emptied out quite a lot today, isn't it? So that's nice. Yeah. Were we bothered by the rain? Because obviously the weather's been no, more not really. worse than good. But no, we've had the, too the, bad on the right rain. coats on and stuff. Mm. So. And yesterday was supposed to be the rainy day, yeah. but it wasn't too bad, was it? Chicken, I'm a bit tiddly. Oh, I love it. So I can't right, speak then. properly. All right, so we're just about to leave. It's Tuesday morning, having a quick look around the site. Just want to have a look at this hill that we're going to be driving up. Um, while I'm here, I might as well show you a bit of the site. Kitty Winkies play area, toilets, uh, toilets there, They're pretty basic toilets, but functional. Uh, there's lots of these around uh, where you can, I don't know, empty stuff, wash your, clock, wash your dog. Shop and off licence, which is handy, a very nice and pleasant in there. And that's the reception. Uh, there's field over there for cat for tourers, going along there. And then we're up there, there's a couple of fields along that path, a couple of fields up there. Uh, so yeah, it's quite a nice sight. Families are welcome. I've just been, this has been at the back of my mind since we got here, this uh, steep hill. I'm gonna have to get up. Because of course the car's not that powerful, it's only 1.6. <laughs> and there she is. So uh, yeah, there we go. I think I'll have to have a run up along here. Straight up there. Sadie's gonna film me a bit up there.